which actor or celebrity is smarter than we usually give him, her credit for. It's funny how the smartest actors always play the role of stupid people. On a tangent, you should check out the Friends reunion. She sings Smelly Cat, and Lady Gaga tries to surprise her as her special guest to sing along. But Lisa was really nonchalant about it, almost to the point where it seemed like she didn't even know who Lady Gaga was. Towards the end, she tells Lady Gaga to stop so she can sing her song by herself, which was hilarious and everyone in the audience was thinking. One of the things I love about Woody Allen's Manhattan is that the Diane Keaton character endlessly talks up her brilliant ex, what a genius and wonderful and beautiful and sexual and giant of a man he is, and then when Woody Allen finally meets him, it's Wallace Shawn, short, balding, tubby, lisping Wallace Shawn, and Allen can't believe it, supposedly. Alan cast him because Sean is simply that brilliant of a man and Alan wanted to portray him as he actually thought he should be, a true renaissance man who deserves all the praise. E. Also, my dinner with Andre. I grew up listening to Dolly Parton because my mom was a super fan. Dolly and Kenny Rogers was a Christmas mainstay. Such good music all around. We hold these people like Mother Teresa, Gandhi, John Lennon etc etc as saints or whatever, but Dolly is truly a saint, she has helped millions of people in Appalachia, hell, she created Dollywood just to be able to create jobs for her hometown area, she's what all humans should strive to be. She has a law degree but I don't know if she's ever practicing as a lawyer, she got her degree from UNSW, and in Australia, law degree could be done in the undergraduate level, however, to get onto UNSW law, you basically have to have high school mark that put you roughly at the top 0.5% of your cohort that year in a particular state in Australia, in this case is in NSW. She's definitely smart. As a former engineer, I was going to comment this, what's even more impressive is there are some celebrities you see in this thread, that may have graduated college or earned masters, but did it after getting famous. So of course had some biased favoritism in getting in. Dolph did it before even almost anything related to his acting and showbiz career. Jim Varney known for playing a goofy guy named Ernest Havern, was a genius, extremely intelligent, even though he played a character that lacked common sense and generally dumb. Enjoyed spending his free time working on pocket watches and working with the small machinal parts inside to see how they work. Hell of a guy off camera. His best friend was Billy Bob Thornton. When I was young my family lived in a small town in Tennessee. My mom had went to the local grocery store with my little, red-headed sister. A man with a long coat, hat, and beard in line behind my mom commented on my sister's pretty red hair and my mom knew his voice. She swears it was Jim Varney. We looked it up online and it was reported he lived in our town. I was going to chime in and say he hasn't practiced medicine in years and isn't even licensed, because I am 99% sure I heard that in the past, but luckily I looked it up because I am very wrong. He practiced medicine full time until 2006 and maintains his license in case he needs it. Apparently he has assisted with medical emergencies on set. Crazy shit. HTTPS colon slash slash www.hollywoodreporter.com slash news slash general news slash Ken Jang How Ditch Medicine 817478 slash I remember hearing a story about him that one day he was on stage in a comedy club when he noticed someone choking and he stopped his act and saved the man's life and went back on stage to make a joke about the incident. I think it went something about the guy laughing so hard he almost died. He dropped out of school when Queen started to get big in 1974 but then went back and dusted off his thesis to finally finish his PhD in 2007. I guess it's lucky he was doing astrophysics. I'm not sure how many science subjects you can have a 30-year pause in doing a thesis and still have it be relevant given how fast science moves. I was looking for this. Also from the punk scene, Milo Ackerman from The Descendants got his bio PhD from UCSD. 
Some postgrad, former adjunct professor, Greg Griffin from Bad Religion has a PhD in zoology from Cornell, also three of my favorite bands, Ed it, damn it, I forgot Joe was called Auntie from the Vandals, JD from Loyola, almost was elected as a judge. I host a podcast with Paris Hilton, I'm being serious. And she's actually remarkably intelligent. The voice is an act that she perfected to pretend to be dumb. Her voice is actually much dupper. Then got The Simple Life which was the world's first hit docu follow series and now makes millions of dollars selling literally everything. She's a marketing genius. Conan O'Brien. He plays a bit of a gullible everyman on TV because it makes for an entertaining character. He's a great host because he keeps the focus on humor and conversing at the same level as his guests. He seems like somebody who would skip the crossword, but solve the jumble. But in actuality, SHH, he's a Harvard graduate. He just doesn't like bringing that up. Man's got an image to uphold. Seeing a taping of his show was so great. When the stand-up comedian was doing his bit, Conan was just cracking up at the jokes, at his desk, not being filmed. He seemed to be genuinely enjoying himself. And then he sang the audience a song after the taping was over. Just for us because he's awesome. Smile. Yeah, I'm really into a lot of different types of music and Dollar Ha is one of the only pop artists I listen to often. She knows exactly what she's doing and making good money marketing it. If you listen to her first album knowing in hindsight you'll see she was selling exactly what was popular at the time. Her lyrics are also super hilarious and I can't get enough of them. She seems almost like a parody of herself and I liked her older stuff a lot. Her newest album Rainbow was really good too. Lisu Kudrow got famous playing the fairly airhead character Phoebe Buffet on Friends, and has often, but not always, been typecast onto similar ditzy roles since then. However, before getting into acting she earned a biology degree and is credited in a research paper on headaches. Henry Rollins, fronted Black Flag in his own band, often thought of as a dumb angry guy who liked fighting. He is extremely well read, is a prolific writer. Host his own radio show, is a spoken word comedian, podcaster, wrote a column for the LA Times, talented actor, and travels the world on a regular basis. He is a thoughtful speaker, polite to a fault, humble to self-deprecating levels, a spaz, and one of the biggest fanboys of rock and punk era music. I met him on one of his trips to a southern city I lived in. He is genuinely decent human being. He studied psychology and used to fuck with his competitors' heads just before bodybuilding competition. A guy with a heavy and thick Austrian accent, wanted to be the leading man, and became the leading man. Didn't want to be pigeonholed as an action star and went to comedy. Still played some mind games with other stars to be competitive, the workout regimen during Predator. Wanted to be a governor and got it. He's got failings. He looks like a meathead, but damn. You'd be falling into a trap if you underestimate Arnold. Tom Morello is so interesting. His mother started an organization against censorship and music. His father was a Kenyan guerrilla during the Momo uprising. His uncle was the first president of Kenya. He went to high school with Adam Jones of the band Tool from which he graduated with honors. Got his BA in political sciences social studies. I stand corrected from Harvard with honors, worked as a stripper, worked for Democratic Senator Alan Cranston, wanted to become a DJ instead of a guitar player, which he attributes to his signature sound. He's still politically active. Surprise, I really hope he writes an autobiography at some point. She's actually a social media genius, one of the very first. Say what you will about her work and the results of it. But the social media landscape of today has her fingerprints all over it. She basically mastered it before anyone else and today's social products are largely built on her influence. She made a ton of money, and as far as I know doesn't seem too interested in chasing either fame or money anymore, but I suspect she easily could if she wanted to. I was reading an interview with Spencer Pratt of the Hills. I know, but it was actually a really interesting interview. 
and he was really gushing about how much credit she's due for how brilliantly she played the game. No one was doing what she was doing before she started doing it, and everyone since has just been copying her, including more talented celebrities. Definition of stupid like a fox. I've always thought this about her, and it makes me so happy that she is finally owning it. Her documentary was amazing, and heartbreaking. And I'm glad she's finally getting some fucking recognition for all of the work she puts into her brand and businesses. She's one of the most famous, recognizable people in the world. And that's no accident. That's years and years of calculated work and dedication on her part. I'm glad she's finally getting some fucking recognition for all of the work she puts into her brand and businesses. She's one of the most famous, recognizable people in the world. And that's no accident. That's years and years of calculated work and dedication on her part. And that's one huge indication of general intelligence, actual smarts. Most of the top comments are just celebs who have a higher educational degree. You can study for five years and get a PhD in physics and still be plain dumb in your day-to-day -day life. In case of Hilton that it makes sense, we could still argue even though she has all the resources. She still consciously made business choices that made her successful. It could have also gone other way. She could have just ignored her business advisors and done whatever the witted stuff that millionaires kids do. My point was that some replies here were confusing being generally smart with having educational degree. Just having a higher education doesn't automatically means a person possess general intelligence and smarts. I studied at a technical university in Western Europe. The amount of STEM doctorates I've met with absolutely no common sense or basic critical thinking, deduction and problem solving, reasoning skills was truly astounding to me. Exactly. She was the star of well-known movies like Leon the Professional. So many child actors go on to study in huge unis. Emma Watson, Brown, the dude from Narnia, Oxford. Being a worldwide famous star does help. Not that they aren't smart too, but so are lots of others. Half of Hollywood signed the Polanski petition. Snooki went off on a debate about how raping the young teen wasn't exactly rape or some shit. And now they act like such lifelong pioneers of righteousness and good deeds. Hypocrites. Most of Hollywood. They were letting any celebrity go to school at the time. Going to an Ivy League schools to promote your intellect was sort of the trend among celebrities. Franco sort of blew it wide open for everyone for getting a professor who refused to pass his underperforming ass fired and being photographed multiple times sleeping through lectures while receiving his fake PhD from NU. That was about when the trend stopped. A great example was Greg Giraldo. His comic persona was the spitter sarcastic, guy who was maybe dumb. Truth is he was a talented lawyer who became a comic. There's a road story where he argued on his behalf to get out of a DUI in one of the Carolinas. A friend of mine is following a bit in his footsteps, a law lawyer turned comedian. I find it so unfair how simple Jack was ridiculed in the media. Yeah. The scripter and direction was bad at times but you could tell Speedman went full method acting for this one. Some say too much actually. I personally think that the premise of Simple Jack was better than Forrest Gump. The whole movie is built on that US nostalgia and even though it's shot amazingly I think people must take the grand stage and its emotions and target what they feel towards Forrest Gump while he could be anybody. And Tom Hanks went to retardimo. Simple Jack focused on one character one setting and did not have the luxury to transport the main character to literally everywhere at any time. And I know that most say the part about speaking to animals part was dumb f but I think this was all in Jack's fantasy letting us see his world and not ours. Old move actually. Edit. I still love the Scorcher movies. I think Speedman can do both action and serious drama if he has the right director. Lazarus is a nut job if you ask me. I mean no denying that he does well in front of the camera but look at the short documentary they made when they tried to shoot that war movie. It's on YouTube. Search for behind the scenes Lincoln Osiris. Lazarus is either full of drugs, making fun of everyone or proper crazy. You decide. I think there's more intelligent girls in that industry than it often gets credit for. Yeah there are girls that clearly aren't that intelligent, 
but others have made a smart choice to accept the well-paid opportunity, which is fine if they are comfortable doing it. Same thing happens in sports, the smart ones know that it won't last very long so they prepare for that situation. I don't mean to be that guy, but I wouldn't consider her smarter than we give her credit for. The string theory stuff she talked about is a load of woo-woo. She takes spiritual advice from a cult leader that channels a 35,000-year-old warrior spirit named Ramtha. Look up Ramtha's school of enlightenment. They like to take science like string theory and quantum mechanics and woo-woo it up to follow Ramtha's teachings. He has more than that. He sold aviation gin to Diageo for 325 meters up front and a potential 275 meters more over 10 years based on sales. In just a couple of years since buying aviation gin he's already halfway there and he has ownership in multiple other companies. He could easily become a billionaire in 10 years. He was a big investor in Robinhood and I think you were very early on in many more companies that you can look up. That's how startups work. The ideas are usually brilliant but due to lack of money, time, human capital, and a ready market, a lot of startups fail. Him being an investor in new work and believing in it has less to do with his intelligence but more so the management of the company and current market conditions for the product, service. Also take the pandemic into consideration with new work. Most people probably already know this but Ronan Farrow is a genuine wonder kind. He started Bard College at age 11 after years of academic excellence, including a perfect SAT score. Graduated Bard at age 15, the youngest person to ever do so, attended Yale Law and passed the New York State Bar. Then he got a PhD from Oxford and became a world-renowned journalist. He's written multiple books and, oh yeah, is a Rhodes Scholar. Actually, one of my favorite details from the film Legally Blonde comes from Warner saying this when he broke up with Elle. If I'm going to be a politician, I need to marry a Jackie, not to Marilyn. Warner is dismissive of Elle since he sees her as just a dumb blonde and that he needs a more respectable, smart wife who can help him politically, comparing her to the iconic dumb blonde to a Jackie Kennedy Onassis. Yeah, Warner. That's completely wrong. While Jackie went to college, it was a liberal arts school which she was sent to in order to find a respectable husband. She didn't even want to go to her alma mater, Vassar College, since she was a notorious party animal and her parents wanted to keep her from the turbulent New York party scene. Didn't work since she went to the big city every weekend. But Marilyn Monroe started as a working class girl who not only turned herself into a cultural icon, she worked as her own manager and carefully controlled that image to get as much money out of it as possible. She may have been less respectable but Marilyn Monroe was a hell of a lot more capable. Also, Warner, you can't be a senator before you're 30 years old. Someone actually was elected to the federal senate when he was 29 and was forced to sit out of proceedings for six months until his 30th birthday. Dollar Ha got a perfect score on her SAT. Also Lisa Kudrow and Courtney Cox. Lisa Kudrow was a medical researcher before Friends, pretty sure Courtney Cox also had a perfect SAT score. Also I hate all of the Kardashians, but Kim is the only one that's not completely terrible. Seems like she cares about social justice and is on her way to becoming a lawyer. Russell Brand, I mostly watched him for Big Fat Quiz of the Year. And he doesn't really take that seriously, but some of his YouTube videos he sounds pretty damn intelligent than what most people give him credit for. Reminds me of an interview he had on an American daytime show and they basically didn't take him seriously and he somehow cleverly made them look like idiots. Dolph, Drago from Rocky IV, Lundgren received a degree in chemical engineering from the Royal Institute of Technology in the early 1980s and a master's degree in chemical engineering from the University of Sydney in 1982. He holds the rank of fourth and black belt in Kyokushin Karate and was European champion in 1982-81. He almost so earned a scholarship to MIT and even moved to Boston, but did not attend to pursue acting.